Hi, good to see all people in this Omic ministry. We believe that our God will bless us and keep us and make His face shine upon us so He makes us gracious for our lives. Amen. Let us rise and praise the Lord's prayer song.
Tehillah praise team for leading us in praise. In spirit and in truth, we worship our God in this sanctuary. You may now all be seated. Now, let us have a word of prayer. Konsanim Akyungko will lead us in prayer. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you for allowing us to gather here and worship you. We believe that we are your children and you are our Father. However, the world is very wicked and difficult to keep our faith. At times we feel like everything around is in disarray. But even when we feel like we are on the brink of perishing, we can find comfort when we remember that Jesus is with us and will see us through the storm. Father God. These days we are suffering because of COVID-19. Please drive away this from us and we know that this is the right time to pray. But sometimes we kneel down before you 
and ask your answers as on our schedule rather than on yours. Please give us wisdom to know that your timing differs from ours. Loving God, please have mercy on our country. We are having a difficult time economically and politically. Our path forward is not too easy or clearly visible, but we know that we do not need to feel and hold on to the promise of God, who can come whatever seems unsteady. Reading and meditating on the word of God will guide us through whatever we encounter. Please bless our church and our senior pastor, Hannah Kim, and remember our AM ministry and pastor, J.K. Kim. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our scripture today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. The scripture will be read to us by Deacon Jung Wok Pak and Deacon Yun Hee Lee. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body. What you will wear is not like more than food, and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or live or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you buy worrying a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even. Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, Will he not much more cross you, your little face? So do not worry, saying, What shall he eat, or what shall he drink, or what shall he wear? For the pagan run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom, and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow we will worry about itself. This day has enough trouble of its own. Amen. Thanks be to God for his word. Welcome everyone to our Awake Ministries, Myeongsung Church English Worship Service. If it's your first time attending, please come forward at the end of our service so that we can read and get to know you more. We have some announcements. To begin with, if you would like to volunteer for prayer and scripture reading, please speak to one of our secretaries. Also, let's keep praying for our church and nation, especially for our leadership during this time of pandemic. Also, if you have any prayer requests, we are here to pray for you. AM Family is here to pray for you. You can share it with us by visiting the welcome desk. And you can also indicate whether you would like your prayer requests to be private or publicly shared. And lastly, our elementary education departments will be worshiping online beginning today until further notice, while our Jesus Generation students and also our adult AM service will be continuing live in person worship. Now it's time for choral praise prepared by Sashana Choir entitled All That I Am.
so much for blessing us with that wonderful praise. Again, greetings to everyone in our Await Ministries family. Today is my very first time standing in front of you to deliver a sermon face to face. And I'm so glad, I'm so grateful for this opportunity to deliver God's message to a very special group of people like you. Yesterday, I just turned 27, and so I want to take this chance also to thank God for this new year that He has given me. For the past 26 years, I've experienced His grace and His mercy, and it was more than enough. I experienced how visible and tangible His provisions as He had led me to the right places and to the right people. Looking back on myself before and seeing myself right now, God has taken me further than I ever expected. I still have a long way to go, but for sure, God is not yet done in my life, and so I give all the glory and praises to Him alone. Today, we have read from the Gospel of Matthew, a portion of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Here, Jesus spoke of the three basic physiological needs of man for his survival, food, water, and clothing. Food nourishes the human body. Water makes up 60 to 70% of the human body. And clothing provides protection to the human body. And so we can say that without this Three, it is impossible for anyone to survive. But Jesus, in his sermon, he is telling his audience to not worry about these things. Even though they are important, they should not be the reason for them to worry. Instead, they should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all those things shall be added to them. Jesus is telling his disciples to defocus themselves from their life needs. And instead, what they should do is to focus on their life purpose. We can learn here that seeking God's kingdom and righteousness is the very important goal of those who believe in God. It is more important than material things. Of course, we need food, we need water, we need clothes, but we must first seek the kingdom of God. Our earthly life needs are temporary, but our life's heavenly purpose is eternal. So we should not be preoccupied with material things. I remember last week, our senior pastor, Reverend Hannah Kim, he talked about the attitude of the Beatitudes, or in Korean, Palbok, from Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 to 10. And in explaining it, he gave a great emphasis on the kingdom of God, that we should focus on heavenly blessings, not on material blessings. He said that Beatitudes are not a message of positivity. Rather, it is a message of heaven. So it helps us to look for the kingdom of God. And at the end of his sermon, he said that he prays that our hearts will be filled with heaven. And so today, we continue to highlight the kingdom of God by understanding our life purpose. And as we become more focused on our life purpose, we fill ourselves with God's kingdom and we become more or less, less worried about the material things. The key verse today which teaches us to focus on our life's purpose is found in verse 30 of our text. It says, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Let us take note of the word first. The word first gives us the idea that there should be an order 
regarding the things that we seek. First, tells us that we should know how to set our priorities. Seek first the kingdom of God. Before anything else, on top of the list, we should desire His kingdom. I believe that that's what it says here. And in every kingdom, there is a king. Without a king, there's no such thing as a kingdom. That's why it's kingdom. And as Christians, this means that we should seek the king. We should seek God. And part of seeking him is acknowledging him as the ruler of our lives. Giving him the full authority in our lives. That in whatever we do, it should all be connected to the goal of pleasing the king and glorifying the king. Today, I want us to reflect on this question. What is our priority? When we wake up in the morning, what is the first thing that we do? I hope that the first thing that we do is to speak to God in prayer, thanking Him for the new life that He has given us. And if we do this, I believe that it's part of prioritizing Him. We do our best in our daily work because we desire to glorify God. We go to church on Sundays because we want to know God better. When the motivation of all the things that we do is to know God and to glorify Him, then I believe that we are fulfilling our purpose of seeking His kingdom. Also, in every kingdom, there are laws. The laws provide order and a system. And as Christians, we acknowledge the word of God as the law of God's kingdom. It is our manual towards righteousness. It is the key to getting to know the king more. It is the light that guides us through every pace of our daily lives. And one important thing that we should remember in seeking righteousness is that we cannot be righteous on our own. That's why our text says to seek His righteousness, not to seek my righteousness. And to seek the righteousness of God, it means to accept that Jesus is the only one that can make us righteous. Therefore, we should have a humble heart to acknowledge that it is only through Him we can be righteous. When Jesus was on earth, He set the perfect example of righteousness. He demonstrated love. He showed forgiveness. He valued everyone. He spoke the truth. He showed compassion. He prayed all the time. As we live our lives here on earth, being Christ-like is our goal. Let us do what Jesus did. We seek righteousness by imitating Jesus. And we can be the best version of ourselves by imitating Him. Jesus said that if those who believe in Him seek the kingdom of God and righteousness, he said, all these things shall be given unto them. What are all these things that Jesus is pertaining to? These are the basic things that we need in life, just like what I've said at the beginning. Food, water, and clothes. Take note that these are needs. And there is a difference between our needs and our wants. Needs are necessary. On the other hand, wants are often less important. The problem is most of the time, we worry more about the things that we want. But to be clear, there's nothing bad about asking God for the things that we want. However, the point here is that we should give more importance to our needs and give the highest value 
to our purpose. When we pray to God, He answers in three ways. Yes, no, and wait. If God says yes, then let's be grateful. If God says wait, then let's be patient. And if God says no, we should trust because God knows what's best for us. If He guaranteed us to provide our needs, as we are told to not worry about it, it also means that we should not worry about anything else. We should trust Him and we should hold on to His promises. Before we conclude this sermon, I want to show us some photos. So, this is St. Andrew's Bay in South Georgia. And it is very busy because it is home for more than 400,000 king penguins. It is one of the biggest colonies of king penguins. And when we zoom in on this image, we can see that they are like brown penguins. And those are baby penguins. As they are unable to feed themselves, they are dependent on their parents. And the process of being fed requires a lot of time and effort. When the baby penguins are five weeks old, their parents leave them. Since they cannot produce their own food, both their parents have to go out into the open ocean to hunt. And to do so, the first thing parents need to do is to cross a long line of thousands of adult penguins protecting their eggs. Then after that, they must survive in front of the sea elephants. After then is when they start to dive into the ocean and hunt fish. Sometimes it takes them five months to get back. And in the worst case, they may not be able to come back if they're eaten by other animals in the ocean. All for the sake of providing food for their children. We might wonder, coming back from the ocean after five months, for sure their chicks have already grown up. And on hundreds of thousands of penguins, how do they recognize their own chick? It's just so amazing how these adult penguins provide food for their chicks. Now let us ask ourselves, if the animal parents provide the needs of their children, how much more our needs will be provided by our Heavenly Father who is faithful to His promises. When words start to come inside our minds, let us not entertain them. Jesus said, look at the birds. He said, look at the flowers. Let's defocus ourselves. In the world of photography, defocus, it means going out of focus or making the photo blurred. And so I encourage us, let us blur ourselves from our life needs and let us focus ourselves on our life's purpose. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful because you have taught us the way we should live our lives here on earth. To focus our life purpose and to seek your kingdom and your righteousness and to not worry about earthly things. Father God, help us to look at you more than anything else. You strengthen our faith to believe that you are our great sustainer, our great provider, and to imitate you more and more as we go in our relationship with you. Let us be more dependent on you all the time. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. and your mercy keeps us sustained. Your faithfulness never fails us to experience the things that we needed according to your will. Lord, we praise you and we are grateful for you are our great provider. Let this offering in our midst be a pleasant worship into your eyes. We want to give this to you with all our hearts and with faith that you are our provider, the one who deserves all the glory, worship, and honor. Lord, we also ask for your blessing, blessing for the whole nation. Father, bless Korea, bless Myeongsong Church, Father God, bless Awake Ministries, and bless everyone with good health, a good relationship with other people, financial stability, fruitful life, and a growing spiritual relationship with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, I invite everyone to stand up and let us sing the closing song together.
service with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.